welcome to school of civil engineering state pro tutorial for beginner to advanced level in this lecture we are going to discuss about different types of cursor and uh, how we'll use a node and how we'll draw a record beam column etc so let's start First of all, I will open our state pro software. So here is our software and we will use here new project. From here a space, why we will selecting what uh, in our previous lecture I have discussed about that. You can watch that, the link are given in description. So here LEC theory lecture 2 and ok as default location as we have uh, selected location in our previous video. So from here foot, unit length foot and kilo pound, then go here next and from here add beam, then click finish. So after that, here we are seeing that the snap note or beam, here it's showing to draw a beam or to draw anything in Estate Pro, we have to draw some note. So when we have started our state pro it's showing us some different nodes and uh, here in this grid every distance are one feet so 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 there every distance are one feet and here also one feet and here if you see here here the this level are showing x direction and its sorry its uh, y direction and its x direction and its z direction so here this is the plane this plane is for x and y direction so first of all we will draw a node by using that and after that I will show a different method that how can we draw node so first of all we'll click here we'll click here then we'll again click here uh, you have to select uh, how much node you require so you can select her you can select her also you can select her select her select her like that and after that escape so after that you have to click here snap node or beam so if you click here we have selected six node that is it that is our six node like that way you can draw your node so again if we go here again we can click here so I'm going to delete that press yes delete yes and again I will click here so it's and now if you need the node in y direction so you have to click here at the zero level zero and how fit you require that you have to select suppose I need a five feet height to a uh, difference and from here I need one two three four five five feet like that and in that direction I mean in Z direction you can also do that so after that press escape and click here so here you are seeing that there is the our required distance for that that is the one way and another way is suppose delete that yes delete that yes click here and you have to snap our node beam just click here it's remove after that you have to go here and if you need to draw 
if you need to draw here any pen or cursor then you have to click here after that de close that snap or node beam close that and after that click here for geometry for geometry click here and close that now you will find here nodes here is nodes for x direction y direction and z direction suppose you need a node in here first of all first node will be in zero so here it is a node now suppose you need a second point within a distance suppose I need a distance in X direction after 5 feet interval so here if we see here that is a 2 node and node 1 sorry that is a 2 node head node 1 and head node 2 and its distance are if we show from here oh, sorry dimension otherwise click here yes yes so from that point to that point it's showing 5 feet so this node distance are 5 feet after that if we go back so here is our initial node we press here for back and after that we can copy that node sorry for uh, select that node you have to go here node cursor so select that node and right click on it and you will get a copy after copy again right click on it then paste node so here you will find the option that where you want to paste I mean how distance you want to paste suppose we want to paste in again 5 feet distance in x direction then press ok so it's 5 feet distance it's 5 feet, 5 feet distance in x direction remove Sorry. after that here is the 5 feet distance note now suppose you need node the two node in y a z distance then copy the two node obviously you have to select the node cursor and you can also press ctrl plus v c ctrl plus c then again press ctrl plus v so suppose you need that two cursor in i mean two node in z direction it's 3 feet distance so press a 3 press ok so here is 3 feet distance node after that if we want to draw beam on it suppose we want to draw beam on it then you have to go here add beams then click on that node and again go on that node here is the beam and after that again click on it and click on it here is the another node after that you can add here or you can add here add here and add here so we have joined it or all node now suppose you need the four node in y direction after that you have to go here select node press node and you have to copy that node right click copy and paste paste nodes so here in y direction so the upper y direction is plus and down y direction is minus suppose we need down y direction so minus minus two feet then okay so we have found our all nodes here now suppose we will draw nodes here suppose we are drawing a building for one slab here here is our node if we rotate that 
That is all. The, that is the way to draw nodes in X, Y and Z direction. Now, suppose we want to increase that S3 height. Suppose we have to increase that S3 height. Then how we will do that? For that, we will go here, view from Z and here, here is our first floor and here is our base. So, if we want to select here, if we want to copy that floor for that we have to select node cursor and then we have to select that like that way just here left click and release here we have copy and then they have two way we can similarly we can copy that and paste here otherwise we can go here translational repeat or from here uh, from here geometry we can also use a translational repeat after that yes auto save uh, this is the procedure to save your file after some time later so here press here translational repeat by using that option you can repeat your I mean you can increase your data in X, Y and Z direction. So as we are going to increase our data in Y direction from here how a story we want to take. Suppose 3 a story and every story height will be 10. It's 10 and also they have an option. After that if you click here the only link will be copy. But if you click here I mean only note will be copy but if you click here that link step suppose uh, first of all I'm saying press ok here see that if we go in 3d mode if this is the 3d mode so here here we're seeing that there is the note for 3 story so I am to go undo and again go here and copy that so after copy it, we have to go here, translational, repeat. So after that, white direction and it's 3 and select 10 feet story height, 3 and if we select that option, link step, then it will also select its length white direction so if we go in 3d mode now here you can see that it's showing value in y direction i mean it's also have select the link in y direction now if we want to connect that we can use here beam cursor add beam then we have to click here again click here again click here click here again click here and click here again click here and click here so this is the way otherwise go under and uh, they have another way go here and select node and copy all node and after that go here geometry then add beam uh, sorry here uh, geometry then go here connect beam along x direction so press here ok the beam connected along x direction if we go here in 3d mode x direction it's also the cursor have uh, remain selected then again we'll go here geometry connect beam along z direction because that is the z direction then press ok so it's up connected so in this way we are able to draw our beam and also column 
and in our next video I'll show that how we'll add our support and how we'll assign support how we'll assign materials property and how we'll assign load for it so s12 stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much